Chronic wasting disease, or CWD, is spreading rapidly among deer. It's impacting hunters and threatening the future of wildlife in Kansas. Yeah, KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains how wildlife experts are ramping up protection efforts and what you should look out for. Mule deer are popular just because it's not something you're going to find here in Lyon County. It's fun for people to see. Lisa Keith, director of David Trailer Zoo in Emporia, is making sure her deer are protected from a life-threatening disease. As you can see, the backside of the exhibit has a barrier. Any animal that comes into the zoo goes into quarantine. Chronic wasting disease, some even calling it zombie deer disease, is a deadly brain infection that causes deer to slowly waste away. They stumble. Um, they may act a little different than normal. Unfortunately, for the animals infected, it's fatal. Prevention efforts like the ones at this zoo in Lyon County are successfully keeping the disease from spreading. But in western Kansas, it poses a much greater threat. Chronic wasting disease, or CWD, is a disease that can spread quickly and cause severe brain damage, killing off deer over time. That's why researchers are trying to run as many tests as they can to learn more about its impact. Real typical white-tailed deer, this is a lot what we see. Taxidermists, like the ones at TP Taxidermy in Smith County, are collecting samples from hundreds of deer that come in. We see a lot of the older deer, the three and a half years old or older, so... Um, the incubation time of chronic wasting disease tends to show up in those deer. So far, it's unknown whether the disease can spread to humans. But Jamie Renneberg, a sportsman himself, says it's critical for hunters to know whether their catch of the day is infected so they don't eat the meat. I recommend that you don't consume the deer if it is positive. It's uh, important to get your deer tested. That way you know for sure. It's a quick and easy process, collecting the samples from vital parts of the deer's immune system within minutes. We're going to open that up and gain access to the lymph nodes. Perfect little lymph node right there. Once it's bagged and ready to go, the samples are handed off to wildlife researchers for testing. It's dropped a little bit. That's why we do testing. A lot of things can cause emaciation. Shane Hesting yeah. with the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks says the disease is spreading more rapidly now than ever before, which can threaten the future of one of the state's most popular industries. CWD has the potential to ruin hunting as we know it over time. This is going to take a long time, decades. There are a lot of questions whether we'll have localized extinction, which would be 50, 60 years from now, but more likely we're going to see the older animals disappear from the population. That's why people dealing with deer hands on are taking action now to prevent that from happening. I want to see these deer uh, survive and, and, and do well, and, and, and they have, but if there's anything that's going to affect that, then, then we want to be a part of it. We want to know why. Reporting in Western Kansas, I'm Rebecca Chung. If you're a hunter and want more information about chronic wasting disease, we have more resources online. Just head to KSNT.com and look for this story. We have all kinds of expert advice for you.